Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Epic Games just officially released the new mutable character customization sample project on Fab. And so in this video, we'll be taking a look at the new mutable customizable character sample project, which you guys can go and download right now on Fab, a link in the description below. And if you guys don't know what mutable is, basically mutable is a brand new plugin inside of Unreal Engine 5.5 that allows you to create a modular character customization system that features character mesh optimization, baking textures, baking more targets, removing clipping faces of meshes. Basically, if you are wearing things like a jacket, it can remove the t-shirt mesh underneath. You can also add things like custom patches, tattoos, and texture to your character or clothing at runtime and bake those directly into the texture or material so you can save on performance. You can also do things like set up a weapon customization system to fully customize things like the weapon barrel, the stock, the magazine, attachments, and much more. This is just a few things that the mutable plugin can do and there's a whole lot more to offer so in this video we'll be taking a look at the new sample project on fab and cover all of the new features that the mutable plugin has to offer for character customization and before we get into the video i want to quickly tell you about today's sponsor have you ever dreamed of making your own video game are you tired of watching millions of youtube tutorials that don't teach you anything well i was in your same position many years ago and so that's why i created the ultimate unreal engine 5 multiplayer survival game course this course will teach you step by step how to to create a Steam multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5 from complete scratch. You'll learn how to create a drag and drop inventory system, a crafting system where you can craft different types of tools and items. We'll create a harvesting system and gathering system where you can chop down trees, you can mine rocks and pick bushes. We'll add a complete building system where you can build a base and a raiding and clans or tribe system so you can raid other players. We'll even add this open world map and show you how to host the game on a server on Amazon Web Services. This course is jam-packed with over 250 course lectures and over 70 plus hours of content to help you get started on your game development journey in Unreal Engine 5. And I made this course because it was extremely hard to get into game development because there was no course like this that shows you start to finish what it takes to make a game. You can pick up the course right now on my website smartpoly.teachable.com or click the top link in the description below. You can get the course right now with a big discount the price of the course will be raised later on and you don't want to miss out on this limited time offer so take your game development skills to the next level and check out the course link in the description below so here we are in the new mutable sample project this is basically what it looks like when you load it up so i'm going to make this full screen basically you can go ahead and start customizing your character by just clicking this customize button and so you can see we have our basic standard character customization where you can Use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out of the character and your right mouse button to rotate the character. Now over here on the left, we have some basic customization options. So I want to draw your attention up here to the top. You can basically switch through the different customizable regions. So we have the body, then we have the skin tone, and then you have the face. So these are the different customizable options that you have. So first, let's start with the body. First, we have the cloth color. So you can change the different color regions on the character's outfit. So as you can see, there's different color regions where you can change this outlining color on the jacket, which is green. We can change it to a blue. And we can also change the secondary color and give it sort of, you know, a different tint. You can also change things like the wear. So if you wanted to add sort of like a wear on the jacket, it will add these creases. And you can see the normal map has sort of this wrinkly effect on the jacket. It looks like it's worn out. We have different types of shirts, so we can do no shirts. You can see that we have the character's body mesh underneath. We can do a tank top, or we can have this other type of shirt. Now let's actually take off the jacket. So if I take off the jacket, what you'll notice is we have our character's mesh underneath. And the way that this works is they have a base character model that is not necessarily modular in a sense that it's not split up into different parts. So you can just use a base character model with different clothing pieces that are set up for that character model. So the clothing pieces are modular, but the character mesh is not. And say if I equip a shirt, what happens when we actually equip the shirt is it's removing the face meshes underneath the body. So if I actually show you guys what the wireframe looks like, if I back out of here and show you guys the wireframe, what you'll notice is there's no character mesh underneath the shirt. And if we were to equip something like a jacket, if we go back into the wireframe, you can notice that, again, there's no shirt mesh or character mesh. So the mutable plugin is a 
dynamic plugin that can remove geometry that's underneath that is not visible to the camera and this will help a lot with optimization because you can have this runtime game ready character they can equip certain clothing pieces and customize the character and will remove those faces that you're not even using that are not visible to the camera and that will save a lot on performance now as you can see we can change the actual pattern of the different outfits so if I take off the jacket real quick and show you just this tank top, you can add things like different patterns. So we can change the underlying pattern. So you can see we have a couple of different patterns to pick from. You can add an actual image. So we can add a little logo onto the t-shirt if we wanted to. So let's say we'll have this logo on there. Then we have, of course, for that pattern, we can change the color. So you can change the different colors for the different pattern uh, color regions. Pretty neat. And then we have the pants. So let's go ahead and check out the pants. So we have no pants and we have sort of like this uh, tight pants or dress pants. We have jeans and we have sweatpants. And then it looks like we have the regular default outfit. And then of course we even have something like shorts. So these are all the different options. Another thing about the mutable plugin is that you can add customizable regions for different clothing accessories. So a good example of this is the shorts. So for example, I can customize the shorts if I want to have front pockets. I can have also buckles on the front pockets. You could also add back pockets. So we can add back pockets on the back. You can see that has cloth physics on that. So you can add customizable accessories like clothing that have even more customizable options inside of there. So you can see if we switch the pants, there's no customizable options for these. We can have inside or outside boots, but other than that, there's no other customizable options. So depending on the different you know, clothing article, you can add even more customization to those different clothing accessory pieces. So it's just neat in a sense that you can layer it upon having multiple different clothing accessories that can be further customized in the editor itself. So upon this, we also have jackets. So let's go ahead and add a jacket here. And the neat thing about jackets is that you can actually add stickers. So let's go ahead and under here we can add a sticker. And the sticker editor allows you to add sort of these customizable stickers. We can adjust things like the opacity. So we can add the stickers and we'll add this gizmo. So what the gizmo tool is, it's like a 3D gizmo. So you can move it up, down, left or right. And you can even rotate it. So we can rotate the gizmo tool and that will rotate the pattern. We can also scale it up or down in any direction, as you can see, and we can also revert it back to the original. So you can change basically wherever you want the sticker or pattern to be. You can change the actual pattern type and you can even change things like the opacity. So really neat that they've had that in there and it also works for things like tattoos. So I'll show you that in a second, but let's go ahead and change the shoes so we can change this to, you know, regular no shoes. You can see that the pants actually untucks out of the boots. So the way that this works is it's actually all procedural. It shrinks this part of the mesh so it looks like it's tucked into the boots. As for the shoes, I believe it doesn't have to do anything different there. But as you can see, that is the different footwear that we have. Now let's go ahead and move on to the other different customizable regions. So next up we have the actual body uh, customizable options. So you can change things like the general skin tone of the character. So that's what we have. Then you can also have a age slider. So if you slide this all the way to the end, you can see that it creates these wrinkles in the character and the character looks a lot older. It's actually a morph target that's powering that. So you can see this guy has like a six pack. If we scale it up, you can see that we have sort of these wrinkles in the body. So it's pretty neat all of the morph targets that come included on the character. We can add things like freckles on the body as well. Uh, we have things like circus spots. These are for, you know, like the cyborg character, uh, like a cyberpunk character. Uh, we have things like steam trails. So you can see all like the lines and detail in there. We can also add like this chest claw cut. So like this scar, pretty neat. And then on this metal arm that we see, like the cyborg arm, you can adjust and add this rust slider, which is pretty neat. So you can see that has some sort of wear on you know, the cyborg arm. Of course, we can add the tattoos. Let's turn on the tattoo. And the neat thing about the tattoo editor is it's pretty much the same thing as, you know, the patterns. So we can actually get the movement gizmo tool and move this around and basically project this to any parts of the body. So again, you can scale it, rotate it, do whatever you'd like. And then let's go back to our tattoo color. So you can change things like the actual tattoo color on the body. And yeah, that's pretty much the tattoo customization. It's pretty neat. 
we have the arms, so we can customize and remove the cyborg arm over here on the right. You just get a regular arm. And the neat thing about this is this is a separate mesh. This is not part of you know, the regular character mesh. This is not just like a texture. You can see this is actual mesh part of the body. Now again, if I were to show you guys the wireframe, basically they removed the regular parts of the arm mesh. They've clipped it out and added this custom uh, arm mesh. So again, we could change things like the cyborg arm color and we can make it red or green or something like that, or black. It actually looks really good with this black color. But the next customizable option that we have is the face. So it has a full face customization system. So we can change things like makeup, which is pretty neat. And we have tattoo on the face. So we have this tattoo. And we have eyes. So we have different eye shape. And we have the shape influence. So if we change the slider, you can see it kind of affects the way that the eyes look. We can change things like the eye color. So you have purple, brown, pretty much every color there. We can change things like the eyebrow size. So how big, you know, the eyebrows come out there. Things like the ears, also the position of the ears, that's pretty neat. You can position them high up or you know, lower. You can change things like the mouth size. And so these are all powered by morph targets. And the neat thing about the mutable plugin is that you can customize morph targets and they will actually bake at runtime into the character. Okay, we also have nose, so we can change different nose shape. And you can, you know, have a little slider to change the influence of that and also the size, overall size of the nose. So there's a lot of customization options. We have things like different jaw. So we can have a nice jawline there. Uh, we could turn on or off the beard. I believe that's using some, you know, groom asset for the hair. Uh, we can add things like a mustache, so let's turn that on. There's our mustache. We have cyborg parts for the face, so you can have you know part of the face be cyborg like that. So pretty neat that they show these different options uh, with like the cyberpunk character. We have the cyborg eye, so you could have normal or the left eye, and you can do also the same with the right. So you can change those, and you could add sort of like the circus jaw. So yeah, those are the different options for the face. Uh, now I'd like to show you guys the other thing that you can customize, which is the actual character's weapon. So in addition to customizing things like clothing and the character mesh, you can also customize other objects like weapons. And you can probably utilize this for other different things like, you know, maybe vehicles or other different objects that need some sort of customizable system. So for this weapon, you can see we can customize things like the barrel on the weapon. We can change the barrel type. We can add a different body. We can even change things like the grip. So if we like this closed off grip or this open grip, we can even customize the magazine. We can add things like scopes on the top. So we have sort of like this holographic scope like so. And we can also change things like the stock. So we can customize the stock. We can have a longer stock, a lighter stock, whatever you'd like. So it's pretty neat that they have this fully customizable weapon system through the Mutual plugin. We can also change things like the paint. So if we head over to the paint, we can change the paint color and also this energy color, which is sort of like this glowing, you know, effect. Next up, we have decals. So we could add things like decals. We can move this around. It looks like there's one decal already applied, so we can move and scale it around pretty much the same as, you know, the pattern system that we had earlier. So yeah, pretty neat that you can customize the weapon. And that's pretty much all the different customizable options that you have here in the Mutable plugin. Now, obviously, you could add your own customizable regions, add even more customization. This is just a base sample project showing you what the Mutable plugin has to offer and what it's capable of. Under the hood, how this all works is they have this new asset type called a customizable object. So essentially, they've defined the character as a customizable object, and they define the different customizable regions. So you have things like head accessories, the left arm, the right arm, the pants, the shirts, the shoes. And once you've defined the customizable regions, you can go in and add customizable objects for each clothing piece for things like pants. And then they powered it all through this blueprint that has, you know, the widget HUD where you can customize the character through your various different sliders. So yeah, that is the brief overview of the Mutable Sample Project inside of Unreal Engine 5.5. You guys can download it right now on fab.com. The Mutable plugin is currently in beta in 5.5, so it's still pretty early. 
and it probably won't be production ready for another version or so. But I'll be making some future tutorials and more videos about this because I think this is the future of character customization in games. It just gives you a lot of built in behavior and functionality out of the box without having to create a whole ton of code and logic. It can also save you a lot of time when setting up your character because I believe this character mesh is not modular in the sense that the character's body is one full piece. Really the only modular pieces are things like the clothing and those have logic in the graph to remove the faces of the body that are underneath those clothing pieces so that there's no clipping of the clothing on the character's body. So yeah, that is the mutable sample project. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more future Unreligion tutorials and videos. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.